Hey everybody, I'm Ted from Tabex. In this tutorial, we are looking at the Essentials X Protect module. And as it says here, it says configurable world protection and control. Depending on what you're looking at and what kind of server you're setting up, you might want to combine this or replace this with the grief prevention plugin. I will not cover the grief prevention plugin in this video since we've already done a full tutorial, but I will link to this page and the video tutorial that we've done in the video description. As you can see here on the left, I got my server running and inside of the plugins folder, I have the main core Essentials X plugin and also the Essentials X Protect module. I made myself operator. And let's take a look at what kind of options we have. So we go into the essentials folder inside of our plugins folder, and then we're just going to open up the config.yml and then just scrolling down till we find the essentials X protect section. We have some general physics and behavior modifications, and these can be set to true to disable this behavior. So it says prevent, and then you got a whole list of options. By default, lava spread and fire spread are turned on or turned to true. And also the Ender Dragon block damage is set to true. Anything else you will need to manually change to true and then reload the plugin. So to demonstrate this, I already set some fire here. And as you can see, it is not spreading. Let's change a few things and let's see this in action. Let's change TNT explosion to true. So we're going to prevent the whole explosion. And let's also do creeper explosion to true. And let's set portal creation also to true and then Let's save by doing control S. We're going to say slash ESS and then reload. And this should reload the settings that we just saved from the config.yml. So let's see if we can explode this. Nope. See, so that's prevented from the config that we just changed. Creeper, put ourselves to survival. We're going to have an issue with the... Oh, it does explode. Well, let's try the portal first and then let's try the creeper again. See if we made a mistake or another setting. So let's make a quick portal. And this seems to be blocked. So people are not allowed to create a portal. Let's try the creeper again. See if we actually die this time. Okay. So it is exploding, but it's not damaging the floor. So there's probably a setting. Yeah, so this is just for the floor. We, I thought that would be block damage, but that might be something else. So let's do player damage, set that to true as well. I thought it would do the same as the TNT, just not explode in general, but it seems to be still exploding. So I saved it. Let's do ESS reload again to reload those new settings and see if we get any damage. We shouldn't. Yeah, okay, so now it's kind of behaving like I expected it to. This is really where trial and error comes in handy to see if everything is working exactly as you expect in-game and don't just expect things by how you configure it inside of the config file. So go through this list, think about what kind of options make sense for the type of server that you're setting up, set the value that you like, and then make sure you reload the server. We can change the entity target as well. It says monsters won't follow players. And there's also a permission to bypass this. So you could, for example, set this to true for everybody. For example, moderators or maybe VIP. Give those groups the bypass so it doesn't apply to them. Prevent zombies from breaking doors. Prevent ravagers from stealing blocks. Prevent sheep from turning grass into dirt. And there's also certain transformations that we can prevent. Once again, you can go through it and see exactly what applies to your server. We can also completely block the spawning of creatures. It also says here, if a creature is missing, you can just add it to the list using the format below. And since I'm curious, what I'm going to do is I'm going to change skeleton to true. I'm going to save this, but I'm not going to reload the plugin yet. I'm going to locate a skeleton spawner using chunk base. And then I'm curious to see what it does, if it removes the whole spawner or if it does, doesn't work anymore. Change of plans. Uh, apparently those spawners are discontinued, so I wasn't able to find the skeleton one. We're going to be using this spider spawner. I'm going to go over here. We're going to change spider to true. So it's going to prevent the spawning of spider. Let's save. Let's do slash ESS reload. And then let's put ourselves in survival and hopefully don't get ambushed. Oh, these are the, the other spiders. Okay, 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 okay. Let's go creative. 
Do we have an option for this? Cave spiders, yes, I messed up. My bad, my bad, my bad. So let's save and reload again. At least we demonstrated that it is working by default. So ESS reload. And then let's see if we put ourselves in survival. Wait, let me get some sort of weapon first. I'll take it. See if there's any more spawning. There's not. So I was curious if it would just remove the whole spawner, but it just prevents the spawning of the spider. You can even see the uh, animation where it normally spawns a spider. It just blocks the whole spawning of the cave spider. There you go. Then we have some final settings that we can mess with. So we can set the max creeper height that the creeper should explode. Minus one is just normal. It can explode anywhere. Most of these should be pretty self-explanatory. Just read the green text. <laughs> burn, baby, burn. So just fire damage in general should be disabled. This could be exactly what you're looking for. It really depends on what kind of server you're setting up. And then lastly, we have some weather options. So you can just completely disable, for example, storm and thunder and lightning and it will always be sunny. The lightning also have some side effects, for example, some charged creepers, etc. if you didn't block those up here. You could also just, in general, disable lightning. These settings are more like a world protection or like world settings and spawn settings. If you're looking more for building protection to make sure that players don't mess with each other's homes or you want them to claim areas and then make sure that those areas are protected, the griefing prevention plugin might be what you're looking for. And I'm pretty sure you can also use both at the same time. Hopefully this was helpful. If anything is unclear, feel free to leave a comment down below. And as always, thank you for watching and good luck with your Tabex store.